So for making this tunnel, you have to import a background. As you can see over here, you can add different type of background. And after that, uh, make sure you have the audio. Then we'll add uh, overlay, which is will be this square image. So this is available on my Discord. You can get this, get this from my Discord. Link is in the description. And then you have to make copy of this square shape, like make duplicate, uh, duplicate copies, seven or eight or six, according to the bead or tunnel that you want. So after like making copies, uh, what you have to do, you have to go on the starting on the top one clip, add a keyframe at the starting, then go into the basic in the basic, just right over here, go into the basic and set the scale to 15, like reduce the scale to 15. And after that, uh, you have to make sure that you have added a keyframe over there, then go to the next one, then over here, set it to 30, like add 15 points in the scales. Okay. And then 45, then 60. Than 90. And I want to tell you one more thing that uh, new CapCut Pro is available on my Discord. You can get, download that and you can get the basic option in that new version of CapCut Pro, which is available on my Discord. After that, uh, you have to make sure that you adjust all of your like square shape uh, according to the basic, increase 5, 15, 15, and 15 according to every single square. After that, what you have to do, you have to go to the ending and at the ending, Add a keyframe and then go to the basic and in the scale add 100 points like at the starting it was 15 so over here it should be 115 so add 100 points at the starting it was 30 then over here we will set it to 130 do the similar thing so 145 then 160 then 175 then 190 then 105 so make oh sorry 205 after that your clip should look something like this you can see that the tunnel effect is coming as we expected and after that you can add a uh, overlay or you can add uh, clips or you can add some green screen animations just like i am doing over here we will remove the screen like this setting the intensity shadow and all these pro features uh, are available in the new CapCut pro which is available on my discord then we will set the scale of it like this but make sure you are at the starting and at the starting uh, like adjust the scale by going to the basic like this so we can get our character in the center then what you have to do make sure that you have adjusted the duration over here i have forgot to add the dura uh, adjust duration so that's why i am adjusting it after adjusting the duration uh, we will go into the starting we will add a keyframe and then we will go to the ending and at the ending we will add a keyframe and we will increase the scale by using the basic so make sure that your character is right into the center of it and after that what you have to do, you have to check it out one or two times, then make a copy of the same overlay or green screen that we have for giving aura. Now, this is an additional part. If you want to copy this, you can also copy this by just doing this. Make a copy of that overlay, drag it downside. After that, uh, what you have to do, you have to add graphs. So make sure you add ease out one graph in between of all of the keyframes and all of the overlay that we have. So after adding the ease out one graph your video should look something like this it will give a better and smoother and faster movement to your clips then for aura go into this overlay go into the basic and set the scale uh, two points above of at the starting like it was 12 so we, will, we have started it to 14 or 15 then at the ending set it to like 15 115 or something like that they like increase two points then we will go into the video uh, body effects and we will add this vortex distortion effect Set the object of this to the overlay which we have in the green screen to give it aura. Then we'll go into the adjustment. We will set the horizontal and vertical to 50. And then the size will be like 85, 65. And now it depends on how much aura you want. Then set the speed to like 60 and texture to 75 and range to like 70, 75. So you can get the, this aura in behind of your background. Then we will add JVC effect. So after adding the JVC effect, uh, we have to set the object, set the object of this to the overlay, then go to adjustment and set the color to zero intensity and filter to 100. After setting this, make two copies of JVC. So we can see that we are getting the glow in behind of Gojo. After that, make one more copy, go to object, set it to the overlay. Then again, duplicate it, set, change the object of this to the next overlay. Now you can see that we are getting the glows on the like borders that we have over here the tunnels that we have so it's simple make duplicate copy change the object make 
duplicate copy change the object so after changing it you can see that we are getting the glows but it's not that much but for that we we'll get more glow we will go into the nightclub and we will add this blue negative effect and after that we will go into the adjustment of this blue negative effect and set the speed to 100 then we will set the object of this just like we have set it to all of the other overlays so we will go into the object and we will set it to the overlay that we have like this then make duplicate copy set, change the object make duplicate copy change the object make a duplicate copy change the object so you will repeat the same thing to cover all of the overlays that you have in your clips after that you can also uh, add uh, what we can say same effect to the background so we can get this type of blue colorful lightning background and after that uh, make sure that you adjust the speed of it set the speed of it to 50 now this one is for the background okay this effect was for the background after this you can see that your clip is ready and you can just export it right over here your tunnel effect is completed but if you want to make uh, the second one which is like the red type or the orange type uh, background with the orange tunnels you just have to wait the process will be similar but you just have to do that you have to replace the blue negative to the orange negative effect which is in the negative we will scroll down and over here we have the orange negative you have to add replace the blue to this then uh, just replace all of the blue negative to the orange negative effect so we can get the reddish or orange type of background and after that you have to delete the jvc effects make sure to delete every single jvc effect which are on the overlays but make sure you don't uh, delete the jvc effect which is on the aura in behind of our clip so after this you have to check it out one or two times and you have to set the speed to 100 make sure you set the speed of every single effect to 100 but uh, you have to set the speed of the last one to the 50 okay make sure you adjust the last one to the 50 which is, will be on the background after adjusting the clips uh, you have, can add same way, duplicate copy and change the object to the overlay which we have in the uh, aura so that is like coming right behind of it you can see that the frame type aura is coming behind of our gojo then uh, your video is almost completed but make sure that you adjust the speed of the orange negative and i hope you guys have learned something new and you will try these type of tunnels in your videos till then we'll meet in the next video and peace out